guys. First of all, before I start reading the next chapter, I want to apologize for not being able to film. I wanted to have all of this stuff done by the end of January, and it is almost mid-March. It is mid-March. What? It's mid-March. <laughs> Anyways, school has been driving me crazy. It's very stressful and I've been overworking myself a lot just from school, but also adding on this, RPs, imagines, everything, just everything I want to do and I'm trying to put it all into one thing and it's caused me to spiral out of control and turn into a mess. Also, since I started reading this story, I haven't been feeling myself and I've just kind of dug a hole, dug this super deep hole to which I can not get out of. Anyways, since I'm on spring break, why not continue it? <laughs> All right, let's get started. Chapter 31. Author's note. I said, shut the fuck up, you queers. One, one, one. Stop calling Ebony a Murray Sue, okay? You do not even know what's going to happen, okay? So, fuck. Ooh. One, 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 one. Thanks to my BFF Raven for the help. One, 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 one. I always knew you were on Voldemort's side, you son of a bitka. Boofy rocks. One, one, one. Sirius said to Snape. No, I'm not. I was teaching them something. One. Snap claimed. Oh, fucking yeah. I took some black Volremort serum out of my pocket and gave it to Severus. He made Snap drink it. He did angrily. Then Lucius took out a tape recorder and started playing it while he did curses on Snap. Then Professor Sinister and Lucian made us get out with them while Snape told his secretes. Lucian took Vampire and Draco to the nurse after thanking me a million times. Professor Travolori took me to a dark room. Now I was going to go back in time to Sedaus Voxamort. Moving posters of MCR and Nirvana were all over. Hermione, Darkness, and Willow came too. Bloody Mary gave me a black bag from Tom Ridd's store. What's in the bag? I asked Professor Travolry. You will see, she said. I opened the bag. In it was a sexy, tight, low smut black leather gothic dress. It had red corset stuff and there was a slit up the leg. I put it on. My friends helped me put on black fishnets and black pointy boots Willow had chosen. Willow and Darkness helped me put on black eyeliner and blood red lipstick. You look fucking kawaii, bitch, Bloody Mary said. Fangs, I said. Okay, now you're going to go back in Tim, said Professor Sinister. You will have to do it in a few sessions. She gave me a black gun. <laughs> I put it in a strap on my fishnets. Like in Red Disney. <laughs> like in Resident. I put it in a strap on my fishnets. Like in Red Disney Evil. Then she gave me a black time tuner. After an hour, it used a time tuner to go back here, Professor Travolry said. Then she and Bloody Mary put a pensive in front of me. Every one went in front of it. Good look, one. Every one shooted. Darkness and Willow gave me death's touch sin. Then, dot, 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 dot. I jumped sexily into the pensive. Suddenly, I was in front of to school. In front of me was one of the sexiest goth guys I had ever seen. He was wearing long black hair, kind of like Mikey Way, only black. He had grin eyes like Billy Joe Armstrong and pale wit skin. He was wearing a black ripped up suit with vans. It was dot 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 Tom Bombardi 1111. One, one, one. 